Welcome to the Rocos Minute, where business owners can get expert commercial real estate advice from award-winning brokers. Welcome to the Rocos Minute. I'm Tanel Marshall. And I'm Marisa Matala. Today, we're discussing how e-commerce is shaping the industrial sector and factors that could be misleading within commercial real estate. Industrial in past years was viewed as a slow-moving asset, and investors viewed it as a low-volatility sector. Between 2003 and 2016, industrial only made up about 15% of investments in the four asset types retail, office, multifamily, and industrial. That is, until e-commerce made its grand entrance. In recent years, e-commerce has helped shape industrial into the darling of commercial real estate, more so with the onset of COVID. However, some of those trends can be an inaccurate representation of future market movement. The demand that came from online retailers during COVID pushed consumer shopping beyond typical barriers, which led to businesses requiring immediate expansion space. This significant impact brought approximately two years worth of growth in e-commerce warehousing within a single quarter. The instant need for more space coupled with the lack of supply brought on a robust desire for more industrial buildings and a premium on rental rates. Landlords also began to experience e-commerce users taking shorter lease terms for ease of flexibility, largely due to the unpredictable spending trends and unknown reemergence of brick and mortar retailers. While online shopping is here to stay and will continue to grow steadily, the initial spike is not indicative of where the sector would have gone if it had not been affected by a global pandemic. E-commerce growth is most likely going to be set by disposable income from consumers post-COVID. As an e-commerce company, if you need short-term warehousing due to demand, get aggressive on rates and lease term. Forecasting your growth post-COVID could help determine if leasing versus purchasing makes the most financial sense for your business's needs. Thank you for tuning in to the Rocos Minute. If you need assistance on how to strategize for your business's commercial real estate needs or have questions about this topic or others, we're here for you and happy to help.